short ribs, right? I'll show you a picture of the package if you've never seen those before when I go in the kitchen and we uh, hook up this concoction or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, but hold up. This right here, let's talk about aluminum foil real quick. When you're buying uh, aluminum foil, it is cheaper to go to like a, a, a Sam's, Costco, BJ's, and spend $20 on this. I'll tell you the reason why. One, if you see the length of it, it's bigger. And if you do the math on buying those small packs, you get more in here. Uh, 750 square feet if you're interested. But anyway, I'm going to show you a trick with this. I'm using my uh, Weber kettle today to cook these short ribs. I'm going to show you a trick on how to deflect your heat when you're cooking on one of these grills so that you don't just burn your meat up. So we're going to go in the kitchen. I'm going to show you the products we're using, seasoning and stuff like that. And um, we'll go from there. See you in a minute. All right, YouTube, we back. And uh, we're cooking these beef short ribs. Um tell you exactly what this says on here. It says beef plate short ribs. Awesome product if you do them right. One thing to note though with these beef ribs is you want to go simple with your season because you want to taste the actual beef, right? Like a steak. You don't overpower. You just use what they call SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. So if you ever hear SPG on YouTube or whatnot, that's what they refer to. I'm going to use, marinate these in some I don't know if you can see that Worcestershire sauce. We call it woo sauce around here. Some simple nature seasoning. All right. And then I'm going to do that adobo. If you had not tried adobo, this is the one with pepper in it. Um, you can see the little steak on there. Fish, chicken, burgers, whatever. Um, awesome combination. But I don't want to mix too much stuff. You know, apple seasoning, none of that. Because, like I said, you want to taste the beef at the end of the day. Uh, this is beef, so it's going to take a while to render while I'm cooking it. Um... And we'll go from there. So I'm going to season them up. We'll be back in a minute. And let me give you a close-up of these beef short ribs. Normally, I would put these in a plastic bag. Now you can see the brownness in them. That's from the woo sauce or whatnot. So I'll mix them around every about five hours. I'm going to marinate these. It's uh, Saturday right now. I'm going to mix these up. Like I said, um, every five hours, I'm going to just go back in and then um, just take my hand in there and stir them around like this. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the woo at the bottom. Or whatnot, but it's a little little juice in there or whatnot. Normally I would do them in plastic bags or whatnot, just to mix them around, make sure the seasoning is good to go. Uh, let me show you something real quick. All right, so you see this? I don't know if you can see the little film on that. Normally people take the film off of ribs when they're cooking them, but because they're so small and they already been cut, you can see the film on one or two of them right here. It's perfect right here. You just take a some people take pliers or some people take a dry rag or a dry paper towel and just pull it until you get this film off. What it does is, the film is what holds the meat together, but if you take the film off, it'll make them extra tender when people bite them. People, I don't know, just depends on who it is, but some people like the film off. You know what I mean? Some people like that tug on them. But for these, because they already been cut at the store, I'm going to just leave the, leave the uh, film on there because it's hell trying to take that off on some short ribs that's already been cut. So... All right, I just want you guys to see the season and whatnot. I'm going to stick them in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. Like I said, maybe every five, six hours, I'm going to come and just move this around. If I had a plastic bag, I could be able to shake it around, you know, um, flip the bag over so the season go to the bottom or whatnot. But this will work for now. Um, Got to get on my wife because she's staying on a job, man. Anyway, uh, now nah, I'm messing around. She's going to kill me when she hit this. But no, nah, man, it, it, it's my fault because normally when I barbecue, I use up a lot of stuff in the house, and that's on me to go replace the products I buy so I'll take that L uh, plus she gonna remind me after she see this video so yeah I'll pray for me <laughs> um, yeah so I'm gonna let them sit for about 24 hours I'm gonna five the grill tomorrow morning um, and then let it go uh, like I said I'm using the woo sauce I just used all this so she gonna kill me uh, some adobo uh, and some nature season no, I'm not a spokesperson for these products. This is what I've seen in my uh, my cabinet. And that's what this video is about, man. Backyard barbecue. Just grab what you got in there and go for what you know. Uh, fun fact for the day. Beef, like I said, you don't want to overpower it because you want to taste the actual beef. You know what I mean? Like a steak. You want to taste the steakness in it. 
You know what I mean? Not a whole bunch of seasoning. You want to lightly season it with, like I said, salt, pepper, and uh, garlic, SPG, for those that don't know. Um, and then go from there. Let the heat from the uh, your grill, if you got it, you know, uh, up at least over four, four, 450 to 500 degrees. Um, kind of like you're cooking a pizza. But, uh, yeah. So, I'll be back in about 24 hours, and I'll see y'all at the grill. Uh, I'm going to show you. It's about time for me to put the meat on. I'm going to show you real quick. A little tip. You know he's talking about a heat deflector? Well, if you look, you see aluminum foil folded up in half. Just scoot it up under the uh, charcoal so you can see it or whatnot. And I got my charcoal on this side. Um, that way, your heat is not as bad over here. It's not direct. It's indirect. It's not just shooting straight to the meat. So now I can place my, my short ribs. I can put a slab of ribs right there or whatever. But I'm doing a short rib today. So I'll show you here in a minute um, how I place those. So we'll be back in a minute. Uh, go ahead and put these on there. Because uh, my coals are good and ashed over. Uh, you know you saw in the video a little bit a minute ago on how I folded up the aluminum foil. Uh, this is a, just another one of my tricks for y'all. And as I place these short ribs on there, y'all see how short they are. The key is to place them on there with the uh, the film that we talked about earlier in the video face down. That way if any heat gets directly on it or, or it's cooking too fast, this is the part that will get dark, the, the first, first part. You don't want your meat to be too dark. Granted, it's still a form of uh, beef, uh, kind of like steaks and whatnot. Some people just love their steaks looking a certain kind of way, but not my ribs. All right? I just place them on there. Remember, I got this heat deflector, so you don't have to worry about yeah you know, the cold closest to it is burning it because now my deflector's got my heat coming up like a convection oven, and then uh, filming it down. Two more pieces, and we're just gonna, in a sense, set it up again. I'll come back in about an hour and a half to check them out, and then go from there. I'm in the kitchen right now, you know, the ribs on the grill, it's about time to pull them off for after the first segment. And what I mean by that is, I'll talk as I'm going, but let me show you these ingredients first. Got some baby carrots, I'm about to wash them off, cut them up. Uh, got some garlic, remember from the SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. I already got the, uh, the seasoning on them already, so I use the garlic. Got an onion, I'm not going to use this whole thing, that's too much. Um, orange carrot, I mean carrot, An orange uh, bell pepper, red. And then green. Sometimes I use the yellow. It just gives it that different type of flavor. Kind of like if you're cooking a, a roast pork, a roast pork, roast beef, or whatnot. You mix all this stuff in your pot, you know, in your uh, crock pot or in your grill or whatnot, in one of these pans, and then you put your roast in there and then go from there. I'll be doing one of those videos uh, in, in the future too, so be looking out for that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up, and I'm going to use this sugar. I'm using light brown sugar, but uh, that's the key sugar in your ribs when you're wrapping them i know you've probably seen some videos talk about the three two one method um i'll talk about that once i get out to the grill and stuff like that and then my orange i mean apple juice whatnot so we're gonna go from there i'm gonna cut it up um put all this stuff in there i'm gonna come back show you the ribs actually sitting in in this before i wrap it up with aluminum foil and put it on the grill and we're gonna just talk about the process once i get out to the grill so you can understand what i'm doing so we'll be back in a minute youtube we back about to take off these uh, ribs, but you get a look at those. I'll give you a close up in a minute. I'm gonna take these off. Give you a look at a couple of them before I take them all off. Don't you see them? See that texture? I don't know if you can see that juice. Anyway, we're about to take these off and uh, take them in the house. And I'll see you in the house in a minute. And I want you to get a look at this, right? This is everything, the concoction I've, I've uh, talked about. The carrots, baby carrots, uh, onions, some uh, garlic in there, real garlic. I'm stirring it up because it has brown sugar in there. And it'll melt once I actually put it in the uh, on the, the uh, grill. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and just stick them right in there. Do just like this. Get a little juice on them. 
and go through that process with all of them. Yep, pretty simple. This is gonna make them extra tender, so they real, real chewy. Um, doesn't take long, like I said. We're gonna do it for about an hour. Make them real tender, extra tender, actually. Um, you see the two sticking together? That's because I didn't break them up. If you ever uh, did a, a roast, roast pork in a crock pot or something like that, how it falls apart, that's exactly how they smell right now. And I hadn't even heated up the uh, green peppers and the onions to give it that real flavor. So I'm going to sit these in there, uh, wrap it up with aluminum foil, and then I'll see you guys back at the grill. Got my goodness in here, shake it up a little bit. About to throw it on the grill, you see the aluminum foil on there. My temperature is right now about 375, perfect temp for me to sit it on there. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually sit it right over the coal. Because what I wanted to do is bubble up in there and let the juices, the onions and stuff, get some heat on it to make the smell come out. So that's another fact right there. When you got the aluminum fall over, you can pump up the heat a little bit, or as this is already hot enough, about 375. So I'm just gonna let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I'll judge, I'll come back and check it out. And uh, I'll take the aluminum foil off so you can see it in my video real quick. And then we're gonna go in the house, uh, take the, uh, the ribs off, put them back on the grill so they can tighten up, you know, uh, from the heat actually sitting in there with the aluminum foil is gonna make it tender. So we wanna tighten it back up a little bit and sit them back on the grill. I say an hour, but it'd probably be less than that because it'd probably be extra tender. They're already looking a little tender right now. And then uh, after that, I'll show you the final product. Peace. The grill's about 200 degrees. Show you what these beef short ribs look like. Actually, yeah, let me give you a close-up view. One before I take them off, you see that? Yep, ready to come off. Let them sit for a little while. Actually, I let them sit for a little while and then uh, about 20 minutes, and then they're ready to eat. So, this is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue showing you how to cook beef short ribs. Got any questions? Hit me up on uh on comments or whatever don't forget the like question comment i'll let your boy peace